Globally, approximately 2 billion people in 95 countries and territories are at risk of being infected with malaria. There were 212 million cases of malaria globally and 438,000 malaria deaths per year. In Thailand, the number of patients infected with malaria was estimated at an average of 20,000 per year, especially in the endemic Thai-Cambodian and Thai-Myanmar borders. The Thai Ministry of Public Health and the WHO have set the national strategy to eliminate malaria by the year 2026. To achieve this goal, we need to be able to determine who is infected and where are they. Therefore, the ability to detect infections and how it spread will directly lead to the implementation of the policy maker. An asymptomatic carrier acts as a hidden conduit, ready to spread the disease from Anopheles to other humans. Basically, we have underestimated the epidemiology of malaria in low transmission areas, such as in Southeast Asia. We can think of malaria as an iceberg that we can see only the top of the iceberg by using standard techniques such as the microscope. Microscope can detect 50,000 parasites per milliliter. We then therefore have developed and validated high-volume qPCR that has sensitivity to detect the infections as low as 22 parasites per milliliter. This is 2,000 times lower than the detection ability of microscope method and 50 times lower than the detection ability of normal PCR technology. The new high-volume sensitivity technique has been deployed to examine about 60,000 blood samples from 260 villages in the Southeast Asian area. In the border areas between Thailand, Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam, the method has led to 20 to 78 percent higher detection of the infected among the asymptomatic population. The infections found in these areas were further determined to be Plasmodium falciparum infection 5 percent and Plasmodium vivax infection 13 percent. This groundbreaking information has already eliminated the traditional belief that there are few asymptomatic malaria subjects in these regions. We strongly believe that insight like this will lead to better treatment and will eventually eliminate malaria.